How's it going guys? Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about remarketing. What is remarketing? Why is it important? Why is it important to your business and how to set it up using Facebook ads? So remarketing, what is it? You probably already know. It's when you go onto a website, you're searching for a product, pretty much a lot of websites these days are doing it. Um, you're looking at their product for whatever reason you don't buy and then next minute you know you scroll on Facebook and that product then pops up on your newsfeed. What that is is remarketing. It's very easy to set up. It's very effective for your business and I'll tell you why. Um, using remarketing, you, using Facebook, you can remarket to your customers or potential customers and you can show them different benefits, different features of the product they were just looking at on your website. Let's say, for example, you were selling women's clothes and um, someone come on your website, they were looking at some stuff, but then they, they bounce for whatever reason. You could then um, show them videos and pictures of more of your products, some that, some that they didn't look at. You can you know, you can um, you can promote the free delivery that you might offer, or you could promote the hassle-free return in another ad. You could give them a, a 10% discount or a 20% discount. There's a million testimonials is a good one. Unboxing videos, you can show them videos of some of your customers opening some of your products, showing them the quality. The the, the possibilities are endless. Um, it's just you're limited by your imagination, really. So. That's one of the benefits, that's the biggest benefit of running remarketing ads on Facebook, just being able to stay in front of your customers for a very cheap price. Um, today I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up on Facebook ads, so make sure you stick um, stick with me for the next couple of minutes. It's only going to take five to ten minutes to set up. Uh, it can be a little bit compl complicated if you don't know much about Facebook ads. Um, if you're not confident in setting this up yourself, feel free to reach out to me and I can handle all this for you. But I'm just going to show you how if you've got any sort of online store, this works for online stores, brick and mortar businesses, anyone pretty much with a website that gets traffic to their website. Once someone leaves your website, you want to continue to show them ads on Facebook for a very cheap price. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So before you do do it, if you don't know what the Facebook business manager is, uh, Facebook business, Facebook pixel is, it's this little thing up here. Um, you need this pixel installed on your website so then Facebook can then track your website with visitors. Without that, you really can't do anything. Um, there's a f million videos on face uh, on YouTube on how to set up the Facebook pixel. Just Google install pixel on WordPress or Shopify or whatever website you use. There'll be a thousand videos to show you how to do it. Um, even if you don't plan on running ads in the next five to six months, just install this anyway. What that does is it tracks your website visitors. So when you do start running ads, it makes it a lot easier to find your ideal customer. Just do that straight away. So um, I'm going to assume you've already done that. I'm, I'm going to assume that you know the basics of the Facebook Business Manager, which looks something like this. So if you don't know what the Facebook Business Manager is, again, you can YouTube uh, a thousand different videos on how to set up the Facebook Business Manager. I'm going to guess that you have a, a rough idea of, of what it is, and this is what mine looks like. Yours might look slightly different depending on when you're watching this video. Facebook tends to change the look of it a fair bit, so it might be um, a little different, but the concept's still the same. All the same features are here. So what you want to do is you want to go over to your left-hand side, find the Audience button, and this is what... Uh, I'm just setting up a very basic remarketing campaign here. So you just go to create audience, go okay, website. What what this is going to do is just going to tell Facebook, uh, pick all, all website visitors. If you're going to set this up yourself, just go all website visitors to start off with. If you don't know what the events are, um, just start with that, 30 days. And what that tells Facebook is, hey, Facebook, anyone who visited my website in the last 30 days, show them this ad. So I'm just going to name it something easy. There it is. I usually do the date, whatever the date is, the 30th, I think. And just create audience. Uh, don't worry about this for now. If you're just going to set up yourself, just a basic remarketing campaign, just, just click done. Don't worry about that for now. So it's going to come up at the top here, very top. And now we just need to create an ad. So go back to these lines, go to your ads manager. Now we're just going to set up a very basic retype, remarketing campaign. Create on the left hand side here. 
if you're doing this yourself, dependent on your product, just go either brand awareness or I usually go engagement because it seems to be the best. Continue. You can name it whatever you want. I won't do that. You can you can pick that. Um, leave this off for now. Um, so leave that off. Go to next. Again, name it whatever you want. The budget will depend on how much traffic you're getting to the website. So um, it would just really depend. If you're getting thousands of visitors a day, then it would be somewhere like 50, 60 bucks. If you're only getting a couple of hundred, I wouldn't do less than 10. $10 is fine. So start with 10. I usually just, uh, you could either start it the next morning or you could start it straight away. With retargeting ads, it's it's you could pretty much start it straight away actually. Um, I don't set an end date. Um, I just turn them on and then when they stop performing, I just turn them off and I can show you how to do that later on. So you come down to this section here. This is where that custom audience is gonna sit, the one we just did before. If you can't find it, go to custom audience. And that's why I always do the date because I've always got a few of them. So do the date, uh, pick that one. And that, like I said, that will tell Facebook, hey, anyone who visited my website in the last 30 days showing this ad. Pick your country, age range, obviously you only want people Actually, with retargeting ads, leave it wide open. Who knows? You might someone might stumble on across your website that's out of your age bracket, but they still might buy anyway. So they might buy it for their daughter or friend or whatever. So for retargeting ads, leave that wide open. Same as genders. Um, leave this off. Sometimes that's on. Just turn it off for retargeting ads. Uh, if you're going to build it, if you're going to do this all yourself, just leave all this as is. Um, like I said, if this gets too complicated for you and, you and you don't have the time, you don't feel like doing this, reach out to me and I can handle all this for you. Go to next. This is where we create the ad. So again, name it whatever you want. Um, hopefully your Instagram account is connected. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to connect your Instagram. If it's not connected, it's because your Instagram account probably isn't a business account. So make sure you go on Instagram, swap it to a business account. Uh, there's a thousand videos on YouTube on how to do it. Um, so I'm just using my, uh, my brother's account as an example and he's a builder. So what you can do is you could either use existing posts. So use an existing post that's already on your wall on your Facebook page and you just go select post. He does a lot of bathrooms and stuff, so you know if you're whatever you're selling, you're obviously gonna have pictures of it on your Facebook page. Just pick one that looks good. Make sure there's a link in here. Um, even if you're not um, running ads, every time you post on your Facebook page, make sure there's a link because if you're posting on your Facebook Facebook page, it's because you want people to visit your website or you want them to check out your products. If there's no link there, people and people if if people have to go and search on your web you know, your Facebook page for a link, they're just not going to do it. They're too lazy. Always put a link inside the post, no matter if you're running ads to it or not. Uh, you can put buttons and stuff. Make sure your website events is turned on. Make sure that's green and all that's good to go. Uh, if you don't have a post on your page that you want to use, you can just create a brand new one. Create ad. And there's, you know, buttons, text, there's, there's heaps of different stuff. But f just to keep it simple, I'll just use an existing post. Keep it like that, make sure that's on, and hit publish. Um, that's a very basic 30-day retargeting ad. Like I said before, you can do heaps of different ads. You can have, you can set it up so for the first three days, they see this ad. For day four to six, they see another ad. For day seven to 15, they see a whole different bunch of ads. So you can put people through this journey of different ads. So you don't want to really offer them a discount. A lot of people on retargeting ads that offer them a discount straight away. What I would usually recommend is promote your product, show them the benefits and the features for the first couple of weeks, and then maybe from day 21 to 30, then you can show them an ad offering, the, offering them the discount to try and get them over the line. Yeah, like I said earlier, guys, um, the possibilities are endless when it comes to retargeting, retargeting ads. There's you know, there's a thousand different videos you could show potential customers, whether it's unboxing videos or testimonials, or you could show them the product in better detail or whatever it is. Um, it's really up to your creativity. Um, you know, if, if this is a little bit complicated, you'll really want to focus more on your business. You don't want to you don't want to learn the Facebook business manager. You don't have time. It's a little bit too technical for you. Reach out to me. Um, I'm going to leave my Facebook link in the comments below. 
click that, add me on Facebook, send me a message, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below, and I'll get to them when I can. Thanks, guys.